So here's the proposition. If you put a tablet or a capsule or whatever vitamin you're taking in a glass of vinegar and it doesn't dissolve, therefore it will not break down in your stomach. True or false? Well, to demonstrate, I've already prepared a few things here. I've got a small tablet, I've got a capsule, and then I also have a slightly bigger tablet just kind of sitting in glasses of vinegar here. And as you can see, they're kind of turning into alien spaceships. They're kind of bubbling and fizzing and releasing stuff, but they're not, you know, particularly entirely dissolved. They've been sitting in here for, oh, I don't know, almost an hour. Um, so you might look at this and say, well, my vitamin's not really dissolving, therefore these are not good products, they're not going to break down in my system. But here's what you have to remember, this is not entirely accurate, and I'm going to give you four reasons why. So let's move over here. There are really four things to consider when we're talking about the vinegar test. The first of all is the acidity. Vinegar is really not as acidic as your stomach acid. Stomach acid is somewhere between 1.2 and 1.5 pH you know, give or take a little bit, but that's very, very, very acidic. That's about as acidic as you can get. Whereas most store-bought white vinegars, or other vinegars even, are maybe like 2.4, 3 range. Now that may not sound like a big gap or a big difference, but really it is because on the pH scale, every increment is exponential. So it's not just a matter of being twice or half as much as acidic, it's, you know, we're talking about exponents here, we're talking about log 10. Um, so the next thing to consider is the fact that your stomach has digestive enzymes, which a glass of vinegar does not. This really, really helps your body break down food, vitamins, whatever else you consume, a lot better. So because the vinegar doesn't have enzymes, it's not going to break down the pill as well as your stomach would. The third thing is what we call peristaltic action. That is basically all that gurgling and churning that your stomach does to mix up your food and make sure everything digests evenly. A glass of vinegar does not do that. I mean, sure, you could sit there and maybe swirl it around a bit all the time. As I showed you, those pills have been sitting in there for an hour. I've done a little bit of swirling and churning around, but it's still not the same as the action that your stomach takes. And the fourth thing, which is also very, very important, is temperature. Now, you have to remember, or perhaps I'll introduce you to the fact that temperature uh, a higher temperature helps speed up chemical reactions. So the fact that your stomach is a lot warmer than a glass of vinegar sitting at room temperature really helps those reactions, the digestion, move along a lot faster and a lot more efficiently. Can you know, figure your stomach is, what's your internal body temperature, somewhere around 98 degrees? That's a huge difference from 70 degrees at room temperature. So these four points right here are very good reasons why putting a pill in a glass of vinegar is really not an accurate way to find out if it's going to dissolve in your body. Now, here's really an interesting consideration that most people don't even think about. Do you want your vitamin to break open in your stomach in the first place? This is very, very important and very, very interesting. Most people don't even ask that question. They assume if it doesn't break open and dissolve in your stomach, then it's no good, it's bad, it's too hard, it's you know coated in something that's artificial, it's not ever going to break down, it's going to go out the same way it came in. But here's what you have to remember. Your stomach's job is solely to break stuff apart. It does no absorption. I mean, very few things, maybe like alcohol, a few B vitamins your stomach will absorb, but most everything else passes through the stomach unabsorbed because its job is to destroy stuff, break stuff apart, dissolve, you know, break things into smaller pieces so that the small intestine can do all the absorption. That's where you really take the nutrients out of your food, get them into your bloodstream and to wherever they need to go in your body. So the point that I'm trying to make here is that some things, some nutrients, vitamins, minerals, things that are very um, simple, smaller molecules are going to be destroyed in some part by the stomach acid if they release in the stomach entirely. So it's not always a good idea uh, to have a vitamin that's going to digest and break down entirely in your stomach. Now with some things like let's say herbs, fatty acids, let's say you're taking an omega-3, it's fine if those things open up in the stomach, therefore if they're in capsules or soft gels, because they're more like food molecules, they're much bigger structures, they can take a little digestion, a little breaking down to get the good stuff out of them. But this kind of raises a question of, you know, if your stomach doesn't absorb anything, um, how does your body get the nutrients out of your food? Um, what's the difference between getting nutrients from your vitamin 
versus getting it from your food. Do you want your food to be destroyed in the same way that you don't want the vitamin to be? So let's move over this way. I have a more, uh, one more demonstration. I'm going to set these aside. Still working away, still not entirely dissolved. This one looks really weird. <laughs> anyway, so I've got our metaphorical stomach here again. And I've got some digestive enzymes. Remember the enzymes are important. And stomach acid. And these two substances are going to come in contact with a bite of food. Now I realize it doesn't look like a bite of food, but just bear with me. It's the best I can do. And what happens is it starts breaking down. This needs to happen in order for you to get all the good stuff out of your food. Vitamins, minerals, all that exciting stuff. So that's why your stomach is so corrosive and so digestive and so severe because it has to break apart the food to get your vitamins out. But when you're taking the vitamins by themselves and they encounter the digestive juices and the enzymes and the acid, they can actually get destroyed and then you lose the potency and then why even take a vitamin in the first place? So, uh, the bottom line is that the vinegar test is not an entirely accurate way to decide if a vitamin is good or not. Um, really, you just, you can't tell this way. And you kind of have to trust the fact that your stomach does its job. I mean, it's got really acidic acid, it's got digestive enzymes, it's got peristaltic action, it's got a higher temperature. All those things really come into play to help digest food and the vitamins that you consume. And I hope you join us next time for another Supplement Sense video. Make sure to subscribe so we get more good videos coming your way.